Good boys and girls, this is Professor Nelson of Electronics. Today, we will look at a blown fuse indicator circuit, which as the name indicates, it will allow us to know if the fuse is blown or not, without the need to disassemble the equipment, since it will turn on directly and tell us that the fuse is blown. Here we have the circuit of how all the electronic components should be connected. We have a resistor of 4.7 kilo ohms and a common LED. They are connected in parallel to our fuse. When the fuse is in good condition, it has zero ohms of resistance. And the load we want to protect must be connected in series to it. The load usually has to have a much higher resistance than the fuse has, which is approximately zero ohms. If we take into account a 1 watt light bulb, we will have a resistance of 12 ohms. If we power it with 12 volts, here we can feed it with 5, 12, or 24 volts, which shouldn't present any problems for the quarter watt resistor. Now, when we have the fuse in good condition, we have 0 ohms here and 12 ohms in this place. Most of the voltage, or rather all of the voltage from the source will fall on the load or bulb. However, 0 volts will drop on the fuse. And since the resistor and the LED are working in parallel to the fuse, well, the LED will not be able to turn on. But if for some reason the fuse blows, that is, the circuit is opened, well, here the 12 volts will fall. And when the fuse circuit is open, the LED can be polarized and current can pass through it. And it will use the light bulb as a series resistor. However, since the resistance of the bulb is only 12 ohms, and the resistance here is 4,700 ohms, therefore, most of the voltage will fall on the LED and the resistor. So the LED will turn on, but the bulb will not turn on. This is how the circuit works. Well, now let's see it in practice. All right, guys, there we have it. At this moment, there is no fuse. Well, the LED is telling us that something happened with the fuse. Take into account that this circuit is for direct current or direct current. If the fuse is in good condition, our LED turns off and the light bulb turns on. This can also work with direct current motors. Well, now let's see how it works with a direct current motor. And in this case, our LED tells us that something happened with the fuse. We are going to place the fuse and the LED will have to turn off. We remove the fuse and the LED lights up. We place the fuse and the LED turns off. Now we are going to cause a short circuit to blow the fuse. Very well, the fuse blew. There we can see that the LED has just turned on and the engine has turned off. Now the fuse no longer works. This way you will be able to know if your fuse is damaged. Well guys, that's all. See you in the next video. And if you like the video, a like helps the channel a lot. See you. Bye bye.